specific that you guys could use a little more or a little less this morning shoulders hips calves shoulders middle. okay um let me ask you guys this do you both have a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball by chance a tennis ball or what or a lacrosse ball like some kind of a ball that we can use to roll out The dog's ball will work too. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. Um, oh, Yvonne's got one. Amber, is that a no? Yeah, I don't have a ball, but that's okay. I have a I could do other stuff while you roll the ball. <laughs> well, we'll just no. We'll do it together. Very good. Um, Yvonne, thanks for getting it. We're not gonna use it. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Okay, guys, what we do need is blocks, and you both got blocks, yes? Yes, yes, and yes. Very good. We're going to start with your blocks. Okay, ladies. Um, let's start in child's pose. And what I would love is for these blocks to go right under your elbows. Yeah? Yeah. And notice how they're a long way, so it gives me a lot of support up through my arm. That way it right away elevates your shoulders a little so your lats, your rib cage opens, your pecs opens. Very good, Amber. So we'll start there. Big toes to touch. Knees nice and wide. Arms long in front of you, elevated with the blocks. That's it. Relax your forehead down to the ground and then take a moment to arrive. We have over 12 pounds of respiratory muscles. Your pectorals, your intercostals, your lats. What happens throughout the day as we sit forward for most of the day is they get shorter, and as they're shortened for a long period of time, they get tighter. A lot of times, this affects our posture in a way where even when we could stand up nice and tall, it's limiting us. Our muscles don't allow us because they're so tight. So we're going to work on them today. A lot of times, shoulder pain, neck pain comes from here too. I'd like for you to take a really deep breath. Inhale to the very top of your lungs. Then open mouth, release. Rest your shoulders down. Two more, just like that. Deep breath in, inhale to the top of your lungs. Feel the expansion of your ribs. Then open mouth, release. One more, breathe in. Open mouth, send it out. Leave your forehead on the ground. Bring your hands to touch. Bend from your elbows to bring both hands to the very back of your neck. This is for your triceps. Breathe in. On your exhale, can you tilt your chin up just a little to push your heart closer to the ground? You should feel the stretch in the midline of your back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, bring your hands through center and keep your knees wide as you shift your way forward to a forearm table, uh, forearm child's pose. Forearms are on the blocks. Knees are still nice and wide. We're gonna work through our hips today too. Shift back and then shift front. Good, keep your tailbone high, breathe in. Breathe out, if it starts to feel good, can you maybe walk your knees a little wider? Breathe in, that's it. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, 
breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Really good. We're warming up those inner thighs, but shortening them, elongating them. Inhale, bring your hands on top, top of the blocks. And then guys, watch. Feet will rotate out. Each foot rotates out towards the side. If this is enough, elevating it is going to make it just a little looser so you have room for your hips. Same idea, shift forward, be really gentle as you shift back, that's option one. If you feel like you've got more room, then walk it back to your forearms, oh, and then shift back in front. This is a little bit more. Your choice of what works for you, make sure you're shifting and breathing. You'll feel really tight in some areas of your hips. And whenever you find that spot, wherever that is for you, I want for you to hold on to that spot for just a little bit. You, Where your muscles connect the tendons, there is an organ called your Golgi tendon organ. And that guy's job is to detect length and tension. When it detects a lot of length in a place where it feels really tight, its natural reaction is to contract. However, it's something that we're able to train, and when you hold on to that tight spot, your body starts to relax and release. Manipulating your breath as you're elongating it on the way out, it trains the body that you're relaxed. Okay, ladies. Inhale, be gentle as you rotate your feet back underneath you to child's pose knees. Push into the blocks to wiggle your knees close in. Oh, that was tight. And then work your way up to tabletop on your blocks. Inhale, look up. Drop your belly up on your tailbone. On your exhale, round. Tuck your tailbone under and tuck your chin into your chest. Two more. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, round. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, round. Inhale, all the way to the top. Exhale, round. Very good. Inhale, bring it center and push the blocks to the very top of your mat. Okay, ladies, for one last time, we're going back to child's pose. Knees out, toes out, and then sit back. And notice how your hips feel just a little bit looser than when we started. Send your arms nice and long, and then crisscross, walk your way as far left as you can, as far left as you can go. Right hand, place it on top of the left. That provides an elevation for the shoulder. Breathe in. On your exhale, rotate your right shoulder down towards the ground, then hold. Still lats, ribs. The muscles right in between your rib cage, your intercostals, get incredibly tight, and that limits our lung capacity. Now we understand that the very first thing that correlates with your longevity and health is your total lung capacity. It's how well you breathe, guys. How much oxygen you pull in with each hit. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, walk your hands back through center. And then same idea, walk into the other side. Walk all the way over to the right as far as you can work it. Left hand on top of the right. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, push your shoulder down. Rotate. Our lungs have the capacity to take in six to seven liters of oxygen. Think about those two big liter bottles. We have the capacity to take on three of those with each breath, you guys. Yet on average, we only pull in about a half a liter. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, work your hands back through center. Shift forward, and then bring your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Start from the top of your mat. So if you need to work a little more forward so you have room, do that. Then right foot send it long behind you and shift back. Feel your calves. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Inhale, shift forward and just switch. Simple as that. Left foot back. Breathe in. Calves long, Achilles tendon, the arch of your foot long. Breathe out. You good. Take another. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
breathe out. Good, switch back. Left comes, knee to your right. Right goes back again. Breathe in. On your exhale, shift back. Now listen carefully. Push into your strong hands and lift your left knee off the ground. Hover. Swing it all the way over to the right. Cross. Roll over to your left side glue. Put your butt cheeks down. Release your back knee and then bend it. Boop. Sit your weight all the way up tall. Breathe in. On your exhale, rotating through the spine, walk your hands as far left as you can. Feel the twist in your hip. You're starting to open up through your hip flexors because when we sit a lot, those guys get tight too. They affect your hips. They affect your back. Breathe in. Twist a little more. Breathe out. Inhale, work it all the way back to your center. Roll it back up and sweep it in. Good, switch. Left foot long behind you. Breathe in. Send it long, breathe out. Inhale, right knee up, activates your core, and then step it over to the left. Hips roll to the right, bend your foot behind you. Work your way to a tall seat. Breathe in. Exhale, twist to walk back. Breathe out. Inhale, work it in. Send it long, lift, make it back up center. Good job, guys. Down dog, tuck your toes in, lift your bottom. Push your right heel, then your left heel down. Create a one room. Yeah, breathe in. Send it back, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, look towards your hands. On your exhale, walk your feet behind your behind your wrist, but bring your big toes to touch. Slight opening in your heels. It's a narrow stand. Allow your upper body to fold, let your head hang heavy. Notice what does that feel like in your hamstrings? What does that feel like in your shoulders and neck? Hands can stay on the ground to support. It's a smaller surface area you're standing on for the first round, so it might feel a little bit wobbly, and that's normal. Gently nod your head, yes. Easy, shake it, no. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your back. Exhale, forward fold. Very good, roll it all the way up. Inhale, mountain, push through your strong legs. At the top, fingertips travel to the sky. Still, big toes touching, heels open. On your exhale, interlace your hands and bring both hands to the back of your neck. Inhale, walk up. Push your chest open, pull your belly in. Exhale, chin to chest and zip your elbows in. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, close. Inhale, lift. Exhale, close. You got it. Inhale, bring it all the way back to your center. Hands up to the ceiling. Left hand finds your shoulder. Right hand finds the elbow and stand tall. Breathe in. Exhale, bend to the right. Give this arm a really generous pull. Inhale, lift center. Exhale, switch. Right hand to shoulder. Left hand finds your elbow to elongate your triceps. Breathe in. Exhale, bend. Stay for breath. Inhale, lift center. Exhale, large circle with your shoulders to interlace your paws behind you. Breathe in. Exhale, knuckles slide down to open up your chest. Maybe look up. Okay, ladies, inhale, bring it center. Exhale, hinge from, excuse me, hinge from your hips, go just halfway, just halfway. Feel your hamstrings. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. Make sure your knees are unlocked. Breathe in. Breathe out. Exhale, fold. Head folds heavy. Option, if you feel stable, knuckles fold over your shoulders. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
knuckles back to your tailbone. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release your hands and plant your paws. Plant your blocks, guys. Right foot stays in the middle. Left foot, step it back. Long lunge. Very good. Blocks should come to frame your foot. More support. And then legs, let's get it. Shift back and push your left heel down. It's a pyramid pose we're looking for. All 10 of your toes face forward with your knees being straight, but unlocked. Always ready to go. They're not hyper-locked out where it limits my movement. Then the blocks are here to aid me. As I look at myself in the reflection, I see that my back is rounding. So I'm gonna bring my blocks up to their second side so I can elongate my spine. And now I feel this a whole lot more in my right hamstring too. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out, really good. Okay, bring your blocks forward and entire body shift. Lift your left foot up and find that stability. We're working strength to wake up the leg. Breathe in, rotate your left pinky down so your hips are squared. Breathe out, left foot, cross it behind the right. Match your pinky toes the best you can. Left hand stays on the block. Keep your balance. Inhale your right hand high. Rotate up. This is tough. Breathe in. Breathe out. Place your hand down. Right hand stays. Left hand rotate open. Breathe in. Breathe out. Nice. Place your hand down. Left foot, that's the one in the back. Float it up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step it all the way back. Low lunge. Shift your blocks back to frame, to frame your right leg. And ideally, your knee is right on top of the ankle. Again, inhale, right hand high. Rotate. Now feel this in the outside of your hip. Exhale, hand to your back. Half bind. Breathe in. Exhale, can you twist a little more as you look up? Inhale, reach high. Exhale, plant your hand down and step up, forward fold. Walk your feet hip width. Find a little bit of looseness through your back. Reach for opposite elbows as you swing side to side. Good. Let's even it. Hands on the blocks. Left foot stays in the front. Right leg, step back. Good. Shorter step than the long lunge for this first one. Frame your frame your butt, frame your foot with the blocks. Flat back, and you already know the alignment with the hips. Revisit it. Woo, toes to the front. Knees long without locking them. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. your pinky toe down. Find that stability and strength and length. Right, cross behind the left. See if you can match your pinkies. Blocks are here to help, guys. Okay, let's get it. Inhale your left hand high. Rotate up. Woo. Okay, keep those legs cushioned. Exhale, release. Inhale, right hand high. Rotate. Woo. Exhale, release. That's tough. Inhale, left foot floats back up. Exhale, step into a low lunge and travel your blocks with you. Bend your left knee to at least 90. Inhale, left hand high, rotate. Feel this all the way through the outside of your hips. Exhale, hand to your back, half bind. Breathe in. Exhale, twist. Very good. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, rotate your hand forward and step up. Forward fold. No blocks and we're moving on, ladies. Reach for opposite elbows. Swing side to side. Hands on the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain, roll all the way up. Mountain to the top of the mat, very good. And then bring your feet to touch. 
slight opening in the heels, hands to touch, breathe in. Exhale, hands to chest as you sit low into chair pose. Keep your knees together. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, sit a little lower. Good, if you want more through your core, extend your arms overhead. Knees should be behind your toes. Arms should be right by your ears. Good, breathe in. Exhale, lengthen the legs, forward fold. Nice, halfway lift, reset. Exhale, plant your hands and walk it back to a high plank. Place your left hand in the middle. Nope, your right hand in the middle. Rotate both of your heels down to the right and open up to a side plank. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, listen carefully. Right leg, that's the one in the back, ideally. Kickstand it forward, fall in triangle. Push out of your hips to lift. Open up your left side, breathe in. Exhale, slowly lower your hips to the ground. Bend your knees to 90, 90 behind you. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Very good. Nice work. Bring it back through center. Inhale, lift. On your exhale, open to a cactus and rotate back with the left. Inhale, lift. Good. And walk everything over to the right. My hands help. Ooh. Breathe in. Can you twist a little more as you breathe out? Very good. Inhale, walk it back through center. Keep that 90-90. Make sure that you have a 90 right here, a 90 right here. Frame your right foot and hinge, heart steps towards the knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands walk one step in. So now it's in between my knees. Breathe in. This is going to be tough. Exhale, hinge. Be gentle. Feel the stretch. Don't overdo it. Inhale, lift. Exhale, frame the left knee. This is going to be a shorter bend, right? I just don't have the capabilities to get there that much because of the hip. I'm not supposed to. However, you're supposed to shrimp curl in there. Breathe in. Exhale as close as you can get. Curl, curl, curl. Ooh. I feel this all the way down through my back. Really good. Inhale, lift up. Left leg, that should be the one in the back. Rotate it all the way to the outside of your right knee and then pull your right foot under. Inhale, hands up high. Exhale, twist open to the left. Put your left hand behind you as your right elbow hooks to the outside of the knee. Breathe in. Exhale, twist back. Really good. Awesome, guys. Roll it all the way open. Down dog, pedal. Sweet. We'll even this out. Left hand in the middle. Rotate your feet down, side plank. Open. Breathe in. Breathe out. Morning strength. Ready for the day. Left foot, step all the way through, and then push out of your hips. Fall in triangle. Slowly lower your hips. Knees, bend to 90-90. Good, breathe in. Exhale, bend over towards the right, lift. Breathe in. Breathe out. Very good. Roll all the way over, walk your hand. Oh, I like hand down and then rotate back. Cactus, open your chest. Inhale, now reach up, hand plants, and walk it back to the left. You have all your detoxifying organs right in here, right? Your spleen, kidneys, liver, your stomach. And we need those guys to get a good flush and twist. Helps to release toxins. Breathe in. Twist a little more. Breathe out. In here, work your back through center and frame your left knee. Chest tall, long breath in. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rotate. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge. Oh, that's really tight. Inhale, lift. Exhale, shrimps over to the right. Oh, very good. Inhale, come back to your center. 
right leg wraps around the left. Pull the left foot under. Hands up top, inhale. Exhale, twist to the right and hook your elbow to the outside edge of your knee. This hand behind me helps me twist. Breathe in. Exhale, look past your right shoulder. Good work, breathe in. Twist a little more, breathe out. Inhale, bring it all the way back through center. Unravel your legs, sweep this guy back. Downward facing dog, push. Really good. Repedal your legs, guys. Shift your hips nice and tall to push your heels down and flat out your back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, look towards your hands. On your exhale, walk your feet behind your wrists. Tuck around and curl it. I'll meet you down to your back. Happy babies. Find your knees, your ankles, or your feet. Push your back flat down to the ground, and then to give your low back a massage, rock side to side. For you to be able to get into your low back, don't lift your bottom. Keep that down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Really good. Feet meet the ground right below you. Place your hands down. French pose. Inhale. Lift and activate your glutes to open up your hips. Breathe in. On your exhale, release. Knees to nose. Curl and you got one more. Heels on the ground. Inhale. Bridge. Exhale, release. Pull your knees in through your nose. Curl in. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, release. Shavasana. Send your legs long, your arms long. Take up some space. Find just a moment of stillness. Starting your day out with spending time for yourself with yourself is like recharging your batteries, but it's not only your energy, it's your mental space that you, that you clean up. When you get clear in your intentions, especially in the beginning of the day, it puts you in the driver's seat where it, it's you who governs your day instead of your day happening to you. Not so much of a big thing. So take a moment. What's your intention for today? It can sound as simple as, today I intend to feel great all day long. Today, I intend to be efficient in what I have to do, so I have time for what I want to do. Today, I intend to pay attention to the way I feel as it guides me through the day. Whatever it is for you, seal it in now. Take a really deep breath in. for your intention, for your attention, for your practice. Breathe in. Bow forward. No mistake. Happy hump day, ladies. Yay! <laughs> Very good. 
really, really nice practice. I hope you feel a little more energized, a little more open, ready to take on the day. Awesome work. Yay. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your day. We get through this week too, yeah? Time flies. It goes by so quickly. Um, and I'll see you Friday. Bye, guys.